Hello Aries. This is your monthly reading for February 2019. Valentine's Day is this month. Let's see what kind of energy we pull in for you guys. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. We're going to get started with the Celtic Cross Spread. You guys, please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Alright guys, let's see what we have here. The energy that's around you is the Knight of Coins. Hmm. Let's see what your challenge is here. Oh, okay. The Eight of Swords. What the issue is. Strength. The recent events that have happened in the past. It's the Hanging Man best possible outcome here what do you want to see happen the knight of swords what's coming in for you guys it's a three of cups mm. how do you see yourself how do you how do you view the situation here what's going on currently around you it's a tower what your outside influence is here. It's the Ten of Cups. Hmm. Let's see what your got you guys' hopes are. It's the devil. And your fears. It's the two of coins. Hmm. And what's the overall outcome for Aries here? The nine of wands. All right, guys. So the energy that surrounds you is the nine of coins. There's somebody I feel like very stable that is probably trying to come in. Okay, um, and I feel like this is somebody that wants to discuss something that happened in the past here. I feel like this person probably was very stuck and they probably had you stuck at one point but your challenge is not to let this person get under your skin not let the, this person um, bring you any um, conflict to be honest with you because I get the feeling that this person is bringing something to your doorstep that um, that will possibly have you all tied up in your head not really knowing what it is that you want to do with them or with the situation um taurus gemini energy here okay now how you viewing this how you see how you see this is this is something that's going to be this is something that's going to be very shocking to you very shocking to you okay because i get the feeling that you probably haven't talked to this person in a while all right now the issue here is if you will have the strength to um deal with this person forgive this person even um because i think this involves something relating to forgiveness but the best possible outcome what you would like to see happen is that you will be able to speak your truth that this person will bring some truth to you because maybe things were unclear for you before here okay now what's coming in for you is happiness i feel like reuniting this there's a there's an energy of reconciliation going on around you aries for the month of february okay a lot of you guys i, I know here where i am um mobile county we have mardi gras season going on here so a lot of you that are are actually um in this area or even new orleans um you know it's mardi gras season this month so a lot of you are gearing up to go to parties masquerade balls and all that sort of thing here okay but this is an energy of like really going out and having fun socializing reuniting here okay because your outside influence is the ten of cups I think this is something that that you have wanted I think somebody else wants this with you as well Piscean energy here okay 
I feel like somebody around you um, feels like they would be very happy to have you as um, their committed partner. Okay. Now, what your hopes are is that you know you can fight off any attachment. I feel like um, you guys feel bonded to somebody. I feel like there's something that you are trying not to really focus on that you're not trying to obsess over. I feel like you guys are hoping to release yourself from something here. Some kind of bondage, okay? Your fear is that you will not be able to, that you will be undecided about this person because I think that as far as this um, individual is concerned, I think you guys have it set in your mind right now that you want nothing to do with this. You want nothing to do with them. Okay? And I think here in the overall outcome, this is you guys deciding that um, you're just tired of it. You're done with it and you're just wanting to start over. Like you just want to bring this to an end. You know, you want to complete whatever this is with this person so you can move on and move forward here. Okay? So let's, let's go ahead and get some clarifiers um, for your spread. Let's see what this Knight of Coins is about here that surrounds you for this month. Two of Cups. Yeah. Somebody loves you, is in love with you. I feel like this is somebody that, somebody that you love as well. Okay. Knight of Coins here. Let's see what else. I think that's probably it. Is <laughs> that, that, that like um says it all right there because i do get this feeling that somebody is feeling regretful wants to reunite um and what you you're being challenged with is the eight of swords and that's not to let them get all in your head and have you feeling trapped here you know know it knowing exactly what it is that you want and um you know making your own decisions here let's see this eight of swords Okay, I think that says it all right there. So we're going to move on to um, what the Ten of Cups is about. What is this Ten of Cups about? Okay, Let's see if there's anything else that comes out. And that's the only message that we need for the Ten of Swords. Clarify here. We have the Eight of Wands. Somebody wants to communicate with you what it is that they want with you. Okay. Sagittarius energy there. Loving communication that fell out. Four of Swords. I think somebody's um, somebody's been very hurt here over you guys not being together, I feel. But I feel like this is an energy that um, that is shared between the two of you. Why is the tower here? Please show me why the tower. Okay. And we have the page of swords here. Somebody has some communication. Um, there's going to be some shocking communication that comes in to you guys. That's going to really like, I think it's going to shake you up. Because I don't think you expect to hear from um, an individual here. Let's see what this hanging man is here for in the recent past. The hanging man. Why is a hanging man here? Okay. Let's see. They're hanging me. All right. Hmm. The King of Cups. I feel Scorpio Pisces heavily in your reading. Um, I feel like this is somebody that was stuck before. They were really trying to deny their feelings for you. That they loved you. And I feel like they weren't offering um, what you needed. Very stubborn energy. This person probably did not show that they love you, but I feel like they did. Okay. And I feel like they probably ghosted you before in the past. And, um, and I think now they're having second thoughts. They're ready to come out and offer this Ten of Cups to you. Let's see what this Three of Cups is about here in the near future. Okay. The Knight of Swords. Somebody rushing in to tell you that um that they want to reunite with you guys 
and I think they're very anxious. This person is very anxious, and you know, when they come to you, it may come across very immature and very childish here with this Page of Swords, but um, whatever they say to you is going to be truthful. I, I think they have a hard time really expressing themselves here is, is the reason why they they were hung up before. Um, a lot of times they say that whatever comes out of their mouth is very hurtful, I feel, very aggressive. Let's see what the Knight of Swords is here for at the top, which is a repeat card. Yeah, this person was full of a lot of ego, but I felt like now they're willing to face themselves here and they're willing to face you at this point. Okay, this is what's coming in for you guys here with the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Okay, so my Aries, I feel like there's somebody coming back here. And I feel like they're coming back with an offer to reunite. I feel like they will tell you loving messages. But I feel like even though this person comes across like, you know, very aggressive, I think you know this person. And I think you know their mannerisms. And you know how they speak. So I think that... What's going to be shocking to you is not their tone or maybe their aloofness, but the fact that they're coming back, period. Because I think they've been vacant from your life for a while, maybe months here. This may have even happened um, probably around like winter or fall of um, the year before last. So my Aries friends, that's what I have for you guys and I will be speaking with you soon.